Weather Authority forecast. All right, welcome back. Take a look at a few pictures our viewers sent us. All this damage caused by a microburst in Midland with wind gusts between 90 and 100 miles per hour. City officials tell us the American Red Cross surveyed damage over the weekend, checking 86 homes and finding 28 with some level of damage. Wow, Ryan, some of those pictures are incredible. Yeah. I don't, don't expect to see any 100 mile an hour wind gusts this week, but we are going to see some pretty breezy conditions the next couple of days, but it's going to be a nice breeze to go along with these uh, pretty hot temperatures that we're going to be seeing Ooh, too. Back up to the 100 degrees, hopefully not as hot as next uh, last week, but still going to be very hot. Let's get to the health index. Uh, seeing a low for tree pollen, grass, mold, and weeds, and this is all courtesy of Dr. John D. Bray. You can visit his website at johndbraymd.com. Now, the almanac for today, not what we saw yesterday when we stayed in the 90s. Today, back up into the 100 degree temperatures, 102, uh, getting close to our record of 105, uh, 95 the average, so well above average, and then also above average for our low at 75, normally at 70 degrees. Right now, still pretty hot throughout the basin, but fortunately it's very dry heat, so it doesn't feel as bad as it actually is. 93, you can see a 33% humidity reading, and also have a pretty good breeze going on right now. South winds at 15 miles an hour, and across the basin, uh, just to the northeast of, uh, northeast of us, a uh, pretty co uh, cool drop over for Big Spring. 83 degrees, similar temperatures in Wink at 93, and then still seeing 96 in Pecos, 90s down in the Presidio, and then the Big Bend, a little bit cooler though at 88. Only area seeing 70s right now though, Alpine at 78 degrees. Now you can expect more hot temperatures tomorrow. We're going to stay in the 90s throughout most of the day though. You can see uh, in the early afternoon in the high 90s, but then right once we get into the late afternoon, starting to see those triple digit levels. And then that's going to be the same case for Tuesday as you can expect more 100 degree temperatures in the late afternoon hours. But Right now, throughout the state of Texas, just to the north, 87 in Lubbock, 88 in Amarillo, then seeing 90s still in El Paso, 99. They just got out of the hundreds not too long ago. 93 in Del Rio, but out to the east, out in the humid area of Texas, still seeing uh, those temperatures down in the low 80s, but feels a little bit hotter because of all that humidity that they've got going on. And then 88 right now in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Not too much on the radar right now. We had some on and off thunderstorms throughout the Lone Star State earlier today, but for the most part, we've really cleared out. And you you can see where we had those that severe thunderstorm warning earlier up in Gaines County in the southeastern portion of New Mexico. Those storms have since died off, and we do have a small chance of seeing some thunderstorms uh, going into Monday, Monday afternoon specifically down in the Trans Pecos, and then we could have some thunderstorms sneak up and develop late uh, Monday night. So pretty much overnight storm storms possible for Monday, but likely not going to happen. Only about a 10% chance of that happening. And this breeze you got going on right here, that's going to stick around throughout the entire week. You can see 17 right now in Wink, 15 in Hobbs where they just had the storms, and then seeing 16 over in Fort Stockton, 16 in the Guadalupe Mountains, and then 12 just to the northeast in Big Spring. Wind gusts right now, you can see the 25 mile an hour readings over in Fort uh, Stockton, and then 22 down in Dryden. And then peak gusts for the day, mostly saw 20s throughout the basin, 25 in Wink, 30 up in Hobbs where they had the thunderstorms, a uh, little calmer over in uh, Carlsbad today at 16 for peak gusts, 22 in Alpine and 17 down in the Big Bend. And humidity levels for right now uh, out to the west, very, very dry. Thunderstorms did not have an effect on the humidity up, up in Hobbs in Carlsbad at 22, 24 in the Guadalupe Mountains and all, all the way down to 12% in El Paso. A little different out to the west, uh, to the east though, seeing 46 in Big Spring and then seeing 39 down in Dryden, 53 in the Big Bend Mountains. Now temperatures for tonight, gonna be a mild one tonight. Uh, expect to stay in the 60s for Tatum, but then gonna go See some low 70s in Seminole, 70 in Hobbs, 74 in Jowl, then 103 tomorrow in Jowl, 104 in Tatum, 102 in Lovington. Very hot in the northern basin. Same thing for the central basin. Tonight, expect high 70s, 76 in Crane, 76 in Penwell, 76 also in Kermit. And then tomorrow, could get up to 105 in Kermit. Going to stay around 102 in Odessa Midland, 102 in Penwell, 105 in Grand Falls. Going into the Trans-Pecos, mid-70s tonight, 76 in Fort Stockton, 75 in Bakersfield, Sanderson. 74, and then tomorrow 103 in Fort Stockton. Pecos could get up to 107 once again, and then going into the mountains. Presidio 79 tonight for the low, 68 in Marfa, 73 in Alpine, and 67 in Fort Davis. 
Tomorrow, though, Presidio 107 for the high, uh, Marathon 101 and Alpine at 100. Now, the seven-day forecast, uh, pretty much similar to what we saw today. Expect another day of seeing 102 for the high on Monday, then 101 on Tuesday. But we do have some good news, and that's we're most likely going to drop down into the 90s by Friday. But while we're not going to be as hot as we were last week, still going to be another very hot week in the Permian Basin with lows in the 70s in the nighttime hours. So, Ryan, really no reprieve from these triple-digit temps until Friday. So until then, we want to make sure and stay hydrated. It's the same precautions we've been saying. Of course, sunscreen, lots of, water. lots of water. And, of course, pack snacks that keep you hydrated throughout the day, the day too, like grapes and watermelon. Absolutely. Very there refreshing. <laughs> They keep you hydrated, so thanks, Ryan. And coming up, a small town in Indiana making headlines after a...